Hello friends, in this video we will learn what is meant by a delay latch. To draw the delay latch, we will start with our basic RS latch. If you remember, a basic RS latch is drawn like this. Output is considered to be QN and QN bar. One input is known as R. The other input is known as S. Right? In fact, we call them as R dash and S dash. The same circuit we extend with the help of the control circuitry. I am sure you remember this was S and this was R. So, I am saying the topic is a delay latch, but as you can see, almost I have drawn SR latch. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Of course, there would be a control input also. I will name that control input as C. Now, as I said, the basic SR latch is very essential to remember because by using which or by a little modification, we change a latch to another latch or another flip-flop. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to place a NOT gate between S and R here. Let us see. So, between S and R, I am going to place a NOT gate. Now, because of which, what has happened, this S and R, since they are sharing a same gate, then we got a provision of applying only one input and let me name that input as D and that D stands for delay. So, this is called as a delay latch now and let us see how it works. So, we have two inputs here, one is control input, the other input is D, we will see QN. When control input equal to 0, we know that when control input equal to 0, the input gets desensitized, meaning that whatever that you apply on input does not make any sense, output remains no change. Therefore, when control equal to 0, D is do not care and QN remains QN and this is called as no change condition. Is that right? So, let us see what happens in next case. When control equal to 1, then the value of D makes sense. So, let us assume D equal to 0. Observe when D is equal to 0, applied here, this S becomes 0 and R becomes 1. What is the reason? Because of the NOT gate. It is going to invert this 0 to 1. So, since S equal to 0, R equal to 1, you have to remember when R equal to 1, it gets into reset state and therefore output equal to 0. That is called as a reset state. In one more and the last condition, control equal to 1, D equal to 1. When D is equal to 1, as you can see, when D is changed to 1, this S is changed to 1 and R is changed to 0. So, when S is 1, R is 0, because S is 1, it gets into set condition. That is, latch gets into set condition. Therefore, QN is equal to so, these are the only possibilities of input that we can apply and then let us summarize what delay latch really does. See, when D equal to 0, what is the status of QN? It is 0. When D equal to 1, what is the status of QN? It is 1. What does that mean? You can remember in a way, whatever that you apply on D input, same as it is, you get at output. You apply 0, you get 0. You apply 1, you get 1, provided control input equal to 1. Remember, when control input equal to 0, whatever that you apply on D does not get transferred to output because output remains no change. No change means output remains same as the previous. So, I am sure you must have understood what is meant by D latch. Thank you.